Kelly from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for April 2024. So on April 30th, we are going to have our very last astro event for the month, which is a pretty important one if I do say so myself. We have Mars, the god of war, ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desires, even our anger, completing his cycle through the zodiac wheel, entering into a fresh new chapter and cycle, and also taking his rulership power back by moving into Aries energy. Now, essentially, Mars, he takes two years to go through all the signs in the zodiac wheel. And because he's starting a fresh, clean new chapter, and because Aries energy is where the spark, the fire, the flame gets reignited once again, brings us back to life. It illuminates new ideas, new, let's call them passion projects, new desires, if you will. And again, because we've been waiting for months now for the green light go ahead for us to actually take action and make moves, you best believe that we are going to be making up for some lost time. Now, just a little bit of a backstory here. Mars is entering into this Aries energy, which opens up a brand new two year cycle of the hero journey. It basically puts us in a situation where we are starting a brand new life lesson, brand new life chapter, because we downloaded this new version of self and we're still trying to kind of get familiar with this new version of self. We are definitely going to be tapping into a new spirit, a new mood, new attitude where that warrior energy is concerned. We are tapping into a new level of courage that's going to help us actually advance, actually progress, actually pursue new wants, needs, and desires that have us moving into new foreign territory. Now, just a little bit of a flashback here. Um, on Monday, April 29th, when Venus, the feminine divine energy, took her rulership in Taurus energy, Mars was making an aspect with Neptune. Neptune, of course, in the final degrees of Pisces energy. This is a pretty significant deal, seeing as it's only something that happens every 165 years, meeting up in this Pisces energy. And technically, Mars and Neptune, the next time that they interact, um, it will be 2026-ish. Uh, in Aries energy. And that's going to be a major shift for the collective as well, because of course, Neptune and Saturn, they're going to be completing their time through the Zodiac Wheel in that Pisces energy. They're both walking into Aries energy. And we know what happens in Aries energy. There is a fresh, clean start, fresh, clean slate for us to build something new. So Mars and Neptune already had this download and Venus moved into her rulership he sat at that critical 29th degree. He downloaded all kinds of inspiration, motivation, determination to go after a higher mission, a higher meaning, a higher truth, a higher purpose that, of course, his time through Aries energy is going to kind of download the warrior type of spirit, the boldness, the bravery, the courage that we're going to need to start moving forward. Now, Mars, he just kind of, you know, swings his sword back and forth as he kind of moves forward. And he's going to cut through any bullshit, any obstacles, any challenges that are going to prevent this new version of self from actually moving forward on the path that we need to be pursuing at this time in order to create something new in our lives. So this is going to be a powerful force. And to have the masculine energy, Mars, and the feminine energy, Venus, in their respective rulerships, this is going to help kind of balance out the energies that, again, we're kind of realigning recalibrating within us because of this new version of self coming out to play, especially since eclipse season. This is where we're starting to kind of gain momentum. We're gaining clarity. We're gaining focus. So our energy is definitely going to be boosted in some big ways. We can definitely look forward to that. I think all of us need a little bit of pep put back in our step, a little bit more inspiration and motivation to kind of get things going here. And we're definitely going to have Mars encouraging us to do just that. We are looking forward. We're not looking back. One thing we know about Aries energy is that we rip that rear view mirror right off the car. We have no want, need, or desire to look back. We are building in our energies to kind of catapult us and pressurize us to move forward. 
So Mars in this Aries energy, yep, our competitive spirit is coming out to play. We have to, in order to gain momentum, we have to challenge ourselves in new ways. We have new goals. We have new visions. We have new dreams. And you best believe that we all want to win. And so, yes, the Aries energy is about the ego identity. And Mars is how we use our physical body, our energy, our aggression to go after and pursue the things that just got downloaded in our heart space that we now need to pursue. While we're taking action, we have to make sure that, first of all, the actions and the moves that we are making are not something that's just popping into our head. It has to be well thought out. We have been given a very interesting dynamic over the last couple of months to get our heart and head right. Again, if you've been listening to me for any amount of time, you would know the heart and head have to be in agreement before we can engage the physical body to take action and make moves. And that's what we've been doing up until this particular point in time. And now we're moving forward, but we have to take action on things that we've thought very carefully and very thoroughly about. We're not messing around. We're not looking to waste time. We're not looking to waste energy. We're not looking to create chaos where there doesn't need to be any. We are looking to pursue our goals. We're looking to advance, to pursue something new. And Mars and Aries energy is going to help us find the fastest way to get there. We want to be efficient. We want to be clean cut. We want to get things done. Now, Again, Mars in Aries energy does carry a shadow side. There's a lot of impatience. There's a lot of ego that could slow us down. There's a lot of urges and impulses that if we act upon them without thinking, we do have a great opportunity to make a mess. There is this forward motion that sometimes, yes, it's good to kind of move forward and make some progress. But if we do it without taking in what it is that we're actually doing, taking in in our environment, pausing, really reflecting back on the energy that we've already exerted to make things happen. We have to be taking one step forward, pausing, reevaluating. The forwardness, the directness, the bluntness that Mars and Aries has a tendency to kind of operate under could definitely have us taking some missteps. And we don't want to be doing that. We want to be straightforward. We want to be confident in ourselves moving forward, but we also need energy management. One of the biggest downfalls of Aries energy is that we go balls to the walls and then we lose interest halfway or we lose energy or steam or inspiration or motivation. We never truly see something through. And so the whole goal here, because we've been waiting for so freaking long to be able to take action and make moves is to use this energy to the best of our ability. We want to be productive. We want to pursue new passions, new goals, new visions, new dreams. And we want to make sure that we're not making a mess of our lives in other areas while doing just that. We are definitely more independent. We don't mind being on a solo quest. Many of us, especially again, Aries energy and Libra energy are this eclipse axis, these karmic lessons that we're currently moving through. The Aries energy needs us to be on solo quest, needs us to be independent enough for us to establish who it is that we now are without the influence of being too connected, too intertwined to other people. So we are definitely just on a brand new level of getting to know ourselves, of exerting ourselves in the proper ways to go after what it is that we want. And we really don't need a whole lot of encouragement or support from anyone else because we're very, again, coming out of this Pisces energy and with this download from Neptune before Mars actually entered into this Aries energy, we're already in alignment with a higher goal, a higher vision, a higher sense of self. And so this is about really just kind of moving forward, building in that confidence, building in that courage, building in that clarity without kind of, you know, acting on urges and impulses and deviating off of the path halfway and therefore never really seeing the long term goal or vision actually come into our visions. And again, this isn't a time where we want to look back, where we want to reminisce, where we want to overthink things. Sometimes when we have, you know, the energy building up for us to take action and make moves, the worst thing we could do is give ourselves a whole lot of time to talk ourselves out of it. Again, that's where the egoic programming is going to kick in, trying to prevent us from growing, from evolving. And we have to use discernment in order to understand where it is that we have to push a little bit harder in those particular instances in order to allow the higher 
yourself to actually take the lead and take control. So this is going to be a very aggressive time. We are definitely going to see this on the collective. We're going to see this in our own individual lives. Aggression is a good thing when you have control over your uh, your thoughts and your emotions and your actions. Aggression when you're not in your authentic self, not operating from your power is toxic as F and is very damaging and very destructive. So again, we have another opportunity presenting itself for us to get in alignment with this new version of self to test our ability to keep the power and control over our mental plane and over our emotions. And now we're going to have to test in our actions as well, resisting those impulses and urges and just understanding that we have a huge opportunity to make up from some lost time in the last thing we want to do is create a mess for ourselves to clean up before we can actually bring some of these ideas, these goals, these visions to life.